tube. Right. As you can see, we've got ourselves a new pipe. The Yamaha Tenere 700. World Red. So we're going to take it out, give it a bit of run and see how it goes. This is all something new. <coughs> I've never actually filled two petrol tanks on a motorbike before. So, here it goes. I went there for spinning this one the other night and literally just filled one of the tanks and went for a short spin on it. So. This is the first night out doing the doing the two tanks on it. First, first, first proper spin. See what it's like with the the full weight of the two the two full tanks on it. Right, so that one we're class as being full. Make sure that. We go for tank number two. That just feels so weird. Thirty years, over thirty years riding bikes, and I've never went into a petrol station. I filled up two. Two separate tanks. So what have we got? It 16.23 litres. And I only had one bar on reserve, so not back on. Now we'll see what the see what it's weighted right now with a with a full load on it. to see how she feels.
We've, uh, we've given it a good little test there now today. <coughs> I'm just going to have a little, little walk around, give you my initial thoughts on it. Uh, Comfort-wise, yeah, really comfortable. The seat is a bit strange because it, uh, you know, I don't know where to sit in it, but your, your ass just seems to fall into one spot and sits there nicely. The wind protection from your legs, as you can see, it's only 8 degrees, it's quite cold here today. Wind protection from your legs is brilliant. Um, you can feel it getting it on the bottom of your feet a little bit more so, but that's acceptable. Wind protection is good. Handlebars, comfortable. They're nice and high, very comfortable actually on a long run. Um, one thing I will do is put a set of heater grips on it because my little hands are cold and possibly a set of bark busters as well. I don't think these little plastic things are going to cut the mustard if it ever tips over. So heater grips, set of bark busters on it. Uh, comfort of it, yeah, lovely. Love the design of it, love the style of it, as you see. It's my first time ever going into a garage and filling two petrol tanks up at the same time. It's, uh, it's weird. I don't know whether it'll be a pain in the ass and the novelty wears off, but I don't think so. I'm not going to fill them up all the time. You can feel the extra weight, but it's not a, it's not a problem. I'm after coming off an 1100 Africa Twin Adventure Sport to the big 24 and a half litre tank. And that, when it's full, it's really easy to ride, really comfortable to ride. But you do know that you've got a big full petrol tank sitting there underneath you. With this one, funny enough, not so much. It doesn't feel as heavy. Now I know the tanks are lower, they've kept them down the sides of the frame. Um, but yet, they, you can feel the difference in the weight when that's full. As I said, I am after filling it up there, I've done, what have we done? Let me have a look. There was 160 kilometers on it when I filled this up. I've only done about 57 kilometers on it. But it's still, it's still reading full. And we're after coming up here, up over the mountains, which that road is probably one of the bumpiest roads in Wicklow. Um, not a bother. The suspension, really good. It is very firm. That's the only thing I will say about it. I might soften it up a little bit. I'm only a little fella. Um, but yeah, overall, very happy with it. The engine in it. It's got a little CP2 700cc engine, uh, so there's loads of loads of punch in it, loads of go in it, so that's not a not a problem. I find it quite quite good. So what I'm going to do now is because it's so bloody cold up here, my hands are freezing. I'm going to get down out of the mountains and go get a coffee. I think we have action. I get a coffee here. Uh, 